Good day and welcome to City of Charlottetown presents Podcasts for Seniors. I'm your host, Michael Boyd. Today, Melanie Melanson is the Senior Navigators for the Government of Prince Edward Island. We're going to find out all about what that entails. Welcome, Melanie Melanson, to our uh, podcast. If you could, how would you explain the role of Senior Navigators to Islanders? Well, a senior navigator is someone who can help seniors or their family members or caregivers find out about programs and services that are available to seniors on on the island. Um, I'm kind of that one that one call that you can make, and I'll be able to help you find that information, direct you right to it, or get back to you later with um, that information that you need. So it's really about helping um, access to programs and services through directing seniors or whomever call and helping them to complete applications or making them making referrals for that are applicable to applications that are coming in that they want to do. All right. Excellent. What is your favorite part of your role as seniors navigator? Oh, uh, that that would be meeting with seniors. Uh, it's a delight every day when I meet with them. And they're so appreciative of the work and the information. And it just gives me such an, a rewarding feeling to know that I have been able to help them out and and provide this service to them when they need it. All right. Well, when a senior is looking for some help, how, how can they reach you? Um, many, many ways. Um, by phone. Um, and the number there is 902-213-5820. Or they can call toll free as well at one eight six six seven seven zero zero five eight eight. They can email me through um, the seniors' email, which is seniors at gov ca, and they can also meet me in person. I have various um, senior navigator outreach days across the province, and on my web page it has the dates, times, and locations. And to access that web page, it's uh, simply just princeedwardisland.ca forward slash seniors navigator. Excellent. All right. <laughs> so I've heard that you travel all across PEI. Is that true? That is very true. Yeah. Now, do uh, seniors need to book an appointment or can they just drop in? And how would someone go about booking an appointment with you? Oh, fair enough. Fair enough question, that is. Um, so, yes, it is true. I'm across the island um, in various communities, and I'm there each month. So I'm traveling, for example, to Tignish, um the first Tuesday of every month, and we go on from there. Um, you just simply book a, an appointment with me by calling me or emailing me, or you can drop by at any of the um, locations that I'm at. Um, the one thing I do caution with someone doing that is they may have to wait if I ha if I do have appointment schedule. So it, it sometimes is uh, advantageous to make that appointment first, and then you know know when you can get to see me. All right, we'll do. Uh, what services uh, do you offer uh, with one on one support? So it it very much depends on the person's needs. So each individual appointment is. Um, tailored to that individual or, or or in case of a couple to that couple and what they're needing or what they're looking for or what support that they want. Um, and it could be very simple. It's just sharing information with them about services and programs that are available, or it could be more detailed information on those programs and services, such as what are the criteria um, involved with the program and service what is the eligibility, talking about their income and the income threshold and um, what assets they may have that are um, eligible or not eligible for the program. And, it's, and it could be just as simple as, as, as assisting um, with the completion of application forms, either for provincial or federal programs. All right. Um, say somebody is a little shy or hesitant to reach out to you. What uh, what can you say to that person? Oh, I would simply say, don't be hesitant. That that's my job. That's what I'm here for is is to help. And I would also let them know about our conversations that they are confidential, 
unless, of course, there may be some concerns of abuse or harm. And these conversations are conducted very much in the manner that the person wants. So whether that's by phone or by email or in, or in person, and they're just very informal. It's just having a conversation with me. So nobody ever has to be anxious or worried when they're coming um, to chat with me. Well, that's that sounds great. Uh, what is the uh, PEI Seniors Guide and where can we find it? So the PEI Seniors Guide is uh, a document that uh, the that government or the Department of uh, Social Development and Seniors puts out. It contains more detailed information on those programs and services that are available to seniors. And it's very much similar to the information that's provided by myself or by um, the 211 um, information system. Um, the guides can be accessed um, through me. Just order them up through uh, calling, calling or emailing. And they're typically um, available at all access PEI centers across the island. It is, um, at the moment, the department is currently uh, updating the seniors guide. So they're, tip, they're not um, currently available, but hopefully the uh, new edition will be available uh, early summer. All right. Something to look forward to. Yeah. How does someone go about getting home care services? And is there any eligibility criteria to be accepted into the government program? All right. Well, provincial home care services are provided free of charge for anyone who is in need of that support across the province. Basically, a person can just call provincial home care in their area and they can find out what services are available and, and do a self-referral at that time as well. All right. Now, uh, same question, but in relation to the uh, to getting palliative care services, uh, uh, how do you do that and uh, what's the eligibility there? Basically, palliative care services um, would be through provincial home care or through hospice PEI. And again, the person would call directly to those uh, um, offices in the in their area. And what about respite? What um, what about respite care services? That would be the same process as well. And provincial care, provincial home care, would be able to tell you about um, the the specific day programs that are available for seniors in each of the areas. Okay. Uh, what help is available for seniors so they can be comfortable uh, to age in place at home? Well, that is the one area we, we're really hoping we have a lot of programs uh, available to help seniors with. Um, a lot of our seniors do want to age in place and not be moving to other facilities. So we have various programs, um, such as the Seniors Independence Initiative. We have the PEI Home Renovation Program. That includes a program called Senior Safe at Home, and this program helps um, seniors make modifications or adaptations to their home in order for them to stay there safely. There is provincial home care, which can provide many services for seniors. There is the Salvation Army Home Sheeting Program that helps with um, affording sheet, your oil, or if you're, if you're using a heat pump, the electrical bill. There are various energy efficiency programs, such as the free heat pump program that is going on uh, throughout the province now, and as well as um, the geriatric program and the coach program. And these are both programs to help seniors who have complex needs stay in their home. Those two, those two programs do, however, require um, a referral from the family doctor. Okay. Is there any private home care services in PEI for individuals that want to remain in their home but don't meet the criteria for the government services? There is. Um, the one that I do know of that has been in the province for quite a while is Bayshore Home Health. And it offers many of the same services as home as the provincial home care. But it is a, a, a business, a private business, so there would be a cost to this program depending on the need and the services being provided. Okay. Uh, what is the Seniors Independence Initiative and how does someone qualify for this program? So this is a, a very um, exciting program. A lot of seniors use it. It's um, a very beneficial for those who are still in their own home 
but it also is um, useful for those who are in apartments as well. And it is a program, it's a financial program that if you are over 65, uh, for seniors to be eligible for this program, the income thresholds that they need to look at are, are incomes less than 32753 for individual and less than 41970 for couple. And have to not have assets greater than 100000 excluding your home, land, and vehicles, then you would be eligible for this program. And this program actually provides uh, the funding to help pay for snow removal, lawn care, general maintenance of your property, house cleaning, meal preparation, transportation, and medic alert systems. So it's, it's an a very important program that has helped a lot of seniors be able to remain in their home just but a little bit longer. Absolutely. Where can seniors go for uh, technical help? Well, as we know, seniors, uh, seniors and anybody can have difficulty with um, the technology and their uh, electronic devices. So for the Department of Social Development, seniors has partnered with Big Brothers and Big Sisters to offer a tech and talk program through the provincial libraries. And this program actually pairs seniors uh, needing help with their electronic device with, uh, with a volunteer. We recently did a pilot program on this for a number of Saturdays, alternating between Charlottetown and Montague and Summerside. And it has, has had some, a good uptake. A lot of seniors have been coming in with their, with their device and have been getting that help. Also, um, some of our libraries across the island um, offer a tech and talk program as well, and they use volunteers. So I think right now, some of those programs could be still happening at the uh, Charlottetown Library and the Summerside Library as well. How would someone go about finding out about recreational activities such as uh, Qui-Gon? So um, that, that's not a recreational activity that I'm familiar with. But um, I know many are, and there's all kinds of recreational activities going on throughout our communities on the island. And most of those can be found through local churches, bulletin boards, word of mouth, through flyers and posters. And social media is also a, a great way of finding out what kind of recreational activities are taking place in communities. Yeah. I'm a pickleball person myself, so. Are you? Yes. <laughs> I just recently got back into curling, so that's been exciting. There we go. <laughs> as long as we stay active. Yeah. Uh, so Maple is a virtual health care service currently available for free to those in PEI without a primary health care provider who are on the patient registry list. What steps would a senior take if they have no family doctor to access health care and if they don't know how to use a computer? Yeah, that, that that is certainly a concern for many seniors who are just not, who do not find using the computer easy. So my best suggestion would be to seek out help from families or family members, friends who can help them through that. And if that's uh, a, not a possibility, then there are always the walk-in clinics and the emergency department to get um, help with any health needs that they have. And the island has just started up the Pharmacy Plus program. So seniors can contact their local pharmacy to get help with um, assessing and prescribing medications for, for some very common ailments. Most tropical storm Fiona hit PEI hard uh, on September uh, 2022. And many residents are still performing cleanup uh, uh, activities of their properties. What help is available to seniors who still have Fiona cleanup to do, uh, including down fences, fallen trees, tree stumps, that kind of stuff? Okay. So, yeah, that was quite, a, quite an unprecedented event for all of us uh, to go through, uh, no matter who you are or where you were um, in PEI and Nova Scotia as well. Um, I know the city of Charlottetown themselves are continuing some, to offer some debris clean up of um, residential properties, um, but the, the person, the re resident, has to get that debris to the curbside so they can be picked up. The province has just announced, too, it will be continuing to offer tree cleanup service on private residential properties as well. 
And this includes the removal of trees leaning towards residential structures or have fallen on residential properties. And they can call a number for the Fiona cleanup. And that number is 1-833-734-1873. Or they can visit princeedwardisland.ca forward slash Fiona cleanup to register for that program as well. So they can, anybody can do that, including seniors between May 23rd and June 16th to get on that cleanup list. Excellent. We'll uh, jump on that right away. So uh, we've come to the end of our chat. Uh, is there anything that you want to add that we haven't covered? Not a lot. I would just like um, for our older adults to, to know that I am out there and very willing to sit down and chat about any any concerns or, or to talk about the programs and services that are available to them. They can call me and email me, come visit me, and we can just go over those programs and services. Um, a lot of people do call me just to find out if they're even eligible for them uh, before they do up all the applications. So just uh, my biggest thing would be just reach out whenever and uh, we can set up a time to, to chat and uh, assure you that the, the help is there when you need us. That sounds great. And uh, um, we will have uh, all of the um, contact information that Melanie has mentioned over the course of our, our chat, uh, the phone numbers and the email addresses and websites uh, up on our um, show notes on the, on the podcast page. Uh, so you can find that information there as well. If, uh, if, if not, you can always uh, contact the government of uh, Prince Edward Island. So Melanie, thank you so much for uh, being with us today. We really appreciate you helping us out. So uh, we have been talking to Melanie Melanson, the Seniors Navigator uh, for the Government of Prince Edward Island. Thank you.